Now a story you'll see only on 12. The Board of Pardons and Paroles is holding commutation hearings for people who committed crimes when they were younger than 25 years old. Last week, we reported Victor Smalls, one of the men convicted of killing 22-year-old Edgar Sanchez in 2007, will now have his sentence reduced. Sanchez's family speaks exclusively with News 12 about this case. Here's Shosh Bedrosian. You meet me over there with the flowers? Yeah. Something about coming here in the winter time. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, the leaves and all that, and then, but then there's regrowth. The grass since has become patchy, cold. I think it's right there. But a familiar feeling. Nostalgic. Nostalgic. This is um, it's been I think a couple couple years. For Bridgeport native Kateria Sanchez. Well, my job allows me to travel out here. <laughs> Christmas is. is favorite holiday. This is the holiday season. I'm just happy that I could be here uh, this year during the month of, of Christmas to the grief and heartache never stop to just say hi. I'm sure he'd say he's okay. He's okay. As she decorates her little brother's grave. My brother was he's a good kid. A lot of people loved him. It's been 15 years since 22-year-old Edgar Sanchez Jr. was buried here. What I remember is uh, I was in California, had recently had surgery on my foot, uh, stationed out there, and I get a phone call, but I let it go to voicemail because I was uh, in so much pain. That's when I found out when I listened to the voicemail that the brother had been shot. For the brother and sister, it was pain felt at the same time. And I get the call that he had passed away. and. That was very difficult because the entire time I was prayerful and hopeful and that prayer wasn't answered. New tonight, a convicted murderer from Norwalk will get 20 years shaved off his prison sentence. And now the second person convicted for Edgar's murder could be released next year. Anyone that's ever very remorseful of what they have done is willing to pay the consequences for it. Good afternoon, this is January 13th, 2022, commutation session of the Board of Pardons and Paroles. Former gang member Victor Smalls committed the crime at just 16 years old and says he's changed. The crime was so egregious that this is gonna be stuck with me and, and us for the rest of our lives. But a decision by the panel gives Smalls hope. So your sentence has been reduced completely from 45 years down to 25 years. At the end of the day, whatever decisions made is not going to take away the fact that my brother's not with us anymore. No matter the outcome, there's no end for this family left decorating Edgar's grave. <laughs> it's been there since day one. Day one. <laughs> On this day or any day. They can get letters from, from him, all of that stuff. I don't, I have to look for signs in nature or hope that he appears in a dream. But, I don't know, you know, if I would ever do enough to, you know, gain the forgiveness from the family, but I will do all in my power for the rest of my life love to try to gain that forgiveness. Forgiveness might be granted. Pain never fades. Shosh Bedrosian, News 12, Connecticut. Smalls is now eligible for early release in a year. His co-defendant was released on parole two years ago.